Goats, horses, and cattle roam the pastures of the LSU Ag Center's Reproductive Biology Center. These animals are involved in cutting-edge genetic and biotechnology research. The center is recognized as a leader in assistant reproductive technologies, helping enhance the performance and value of livestock. One project at the center is controlling gene expression while trying to determine what makes up a high-performing animal. We go in and we try to identify in that animal's genome what makes it a little better than the other animal. And then we can engineer animals down the road to meet those specific differences. The center has been involved in many firsts, including producing the first clone cow from a procedure using frozen cow eggs and the first clone transgenic goats from nuclear transfer. Scientists also wrapped up a project where they successfully impregnated cows from 42-year-old semen. The Otis reported frozen bovine semen used in assisted reproduction. It showed uh, to producers that what scientists have been saying for years was correct, that we can harvest semen, store it almost indefinitely, and you still have good pregnancy rates afterwards. In addition to research that benefits agriculture, the work at the center also has biomedical implications for humans. Researchers have been focusing on transgenic animal models, those with specific genes introduced from other sources that can produce important pharmaceuticals and transfer that ability to their offspring. A, a pharmaceutical, a, a blood clotting type factor that is being produced in the milk of transgenic goats. And that is a direct result of this type of technology. Bondioli also is working with transgenic pigs as models for diagnosing and treating Alzheimer's disease in people. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.